welcome back, everybody. We are live ringside at Battle of the Rising Stars here for, uh, you know, one of the probably original East L.A. Uh, boxing events to ever come out of this area. And we are live ringside. I'm here with my friend Iron Mike, and uh, we're getting ready for the second round of the evening as things develop. But uh, I want to thank everybody who's out there listening with us this evening and, and certainly appreciate uh, all the support and our sponsors out there. Um, not to mention, you know, some of the originals like Scapic Law Group and JT Media. You know, some of us have been involved since the beginning. We got, there we are. Right here live, our commentators. Good to, good to see you. Thank you. Hey, wave to the camera, everybody. So we're here live ringside, and uh, it's Battle of the Rising Stars, Montebello, California. Appreciate it. We're getting kind of gearing up. I thought we were going to come back in, so I cut that song short, but I, I don't you just never can tell. Well, I got to tell you, that first round was just explosive. I just can't wait for the start of the second round and <clears throat> see what we got here. Well, I agree. Uh, that was, that was uh, for a couple guys coming out making their pro debuts early, uh, that was huge. No doubt about it. And that, you know, that's kind of one of the neat things about the, the Battle of the Rising Stars and what they do here is, is it's all about, you know, guys that are coming up. You know, maybe there's a little buzz behind what they're doing. Maybe they came out of Freddie Roach's uh, gym down there in Hollywood. You know, who knows? Maybe they're in from uh, another country. But whatever the situation, they come in and I guess we were kind of using the word springboard, but it's kind of what it is, Iron. You know, it's, it's a springboard for people. Yeah, kind pretty much. It gets them exposed. You know, this is a great way to do it. And uh, I thought, you know, what, it was de definitely the first round in the professionalism and you know, these guys are in there and sportsmen, you know, very sportsmanlike. I'm, it's great. Yeah, it looks like pretty much a full house tonight for Ed Holmes, Battle of the Rising Stars. I think we're getting close to getting a fighter, so we're going to stay with you live. And I think we're going to go ringside now with Jim Fitzgerald in our second bout of the evening. Quiet Cannon Montebello. At least he moved. <laughs> he moved across the ring like he was. I think he's close anyway. Well, they're having a problem with the the uh, shorts, the color. They're they're all red. You can't wear that here uh, <laughs> on a Tuesday, or maybe not. Well, we got an interesting fight coming up here in round two. I didn't want to get too into it. But, uh, again, we've got two guys that have only fought a couple times in their pro debut. But for now, let's take it to Jim. Here we go. Now entering the ring of four rounds of boxing in the super welterweight division. Entering the ring first, fighting out of the blue corner. Please welcome Jesus Sanchez. Okay, here comes Jesus Sanchez. He fought in San Francisco in 2014 and actually won his last fight. Hey, this guy Montgomery wants to go by the name of Rowdy, and that's it. It was back in 2014, 2014 that he won against Jesus Sanchez. He then lost in Fairfield a month later, but now he's back to try and take down his second win of his career. Again, Jesus Sanchez coming in 1-0 and 1. So I take that back. He won his first fight up in San Francisco and then a draw on his second fight. Now comes in looking to uh, change that here tonight. And now, entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Rowdy. Stand by, little little issue here ringside. So they told me to say the beast. Jimmy trying to figure out. We got a mic, so I'm trying. <laughs> Looks like Jesus Sanchez, uh, but I think I know what he wanted. We'll take care of that in a minute. Let's take that back up now. Just a little confusion in the announcing. 
So it looks like actually Montgomery has already come out. Now, I, I want to call Montgomery sort of the mystery man. Hard to find out much, much about this guy. We'll see what Jimmy says, and then I'll update you a little more on what I know here in a moment. But in this super welterweight uh, division, he's, he's sort of the mystery guy. Coming out 1-0 with a knockout. So we'll see, you know, just exactly how that plays out. We didn't really quite get him announced properly, but here he comes. I think they're having a problem with the name. They, I actually saw the announcer go, hey, this guy wants me to just uh, call him Roud. All right, fight fans, here we go. Ed Holmes All-Star Promotions is proud to present four rounds of boxing in the Super Welterweight Division. This bout is sponsored in part by Cato's Auto Body and Staples of Monterey Park. Yes, it's that easy. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Sharon Sands. Fight fans, a reminder, due to the safety of the fighters, once again, we ask that you please refrain from any flash photography during the bouts. We thank you for your cooperation. All right, fight fans, here we go. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing red trunks, trimmed in gray. He is training out of Renteria Boxing Club by way of Madeira. He weighed in 152 pounds. His record undefeated, one win, no losses with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jesus the Beast Sanchez. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red trunks trimmed in black. He is training out of United Team Boxing in Apple Valley, California. He weighed in 151 pounds. He too is undefeated, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rowdy! Once again, our referee, Sharon Sands, to give final instruction. Well, there you have it. A little more information on Montgomery fighting out of the red corner in the black and red trunks. Uh, actually coming out of Apple Valley from United Training Facility, I think is what I heard. So. A little bit more information there coming from Montgomery. Again, we have Jesus Sanchez in the blue corner. Coming in 1-0-1. One, one. Montgomery in the red 1-0 and zero with 1 KO. So both guys have had a win. Very young in their boxing career, career at this point. And we're off our second bout of the evening. Battle of the Rising Stars here in Montebello, California. And isn't it great to be out here at Quiet Cannon? tonight iron oh yeah it's just fantastic i mean just what a great setup today and we got some great boxers out well you know one of the things they do great here at bow the rising stars and have done for over 25 years here at the quiet cannon is put together great uh, up-and-coming fighters coming in usually a lot of times pro debuts or or sometimes a little better but overall usually you know young hungry guys and, and there's been a lot of uh, fighters that have gone on and, and had successful careers. Yeah, it looks like Montgomery's got the reach advantage on this one, as well as the height. So he's got definitely the advantage on the height, reach. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Well, again, you know, Montgomery, uh, it was hard to get a lot of information about him coming into the fight. But, yes, uh, he's fighting in the black shoes with the red and black trunks. And he does seem to have maybe, you know, the height and reach advantage, sort of dominating the center of the ring right now. But again, this, this welterweight division, just like our last fight, uh, there's enough power there that these guys, you know, the knockout punch or, you know, the damaging blow is always a consideration. So there's a little respect going on uh, between both guys right now. Yeah, but look, that's kind of interesting there. The first time that uh, Montgomery's able to get 
Sanchez up on the ropes a little, throws three or four Ooh. quick punches, lands a couple, and then dodges a couple. So showing some athleticism, good training here early in the fight. Ooh, Sanchez with the left. Yeah, Sanchez actually doing a really nice job as well of, of avoiding the strike, protecting, covering up, and then throwing. Again, did you see that, that combination coming in from Sanchez is effective and chance. He's going now for the, for the takeout punch there and, and turned it around with, uh, you know. Oh, that sounded a little better than it was glove to glove contact, but now Montgomery thrown on the ropes there a little bit. Absolutely. Tur quickly turned. Did not like that punch he received from Montgomery and Sanchez quickly responding with several roundhouses and jabs. Yeah, Sanchez actually now with 10 seconds in the round has made some contact himself. And I, now Sanchez forcing the action, pushing Montgomery again, the ropes coming with left hand body combination. And you've got to like the way Sanchez is saying, okay, you, you may be a little bigger, you know, you may have a little bit of reach, but you're not going to move That's me off. I'm not stepping off. So different. impressive uh, first round from Sanchez, especially in the second half, makes that kind of hard to call, Mike. Definitely hard to call, but uh, I de Sanchez coming out strong, not really worried about the length and the height. So uh, definitely got some skill, and he's shown it in this first round. Let's see what happens in the second. Well, I like to see that. Looks like another good matchup. Again, both fighters with only one win, so uh, uh, they're very young in their pro uh, careers. And you can see the hungriness there. Great matchup. We're, again, very close to Sanchez's uh, blue corner. And, and from what I'm hearing in their side, they're, they don't seem concerned. They like what they saw in the first round. Let's see. Again, with four rounds of boxing, this round two becomes critical. Here comes Montgomery coming out with that jab. He's got that reach, so he needs to continue to try and push that position, force the action. Sanchez answering back with a couple left hands. Uh-oh. Sanchez gets, gets against the ropes and then does a good job of sort of taking Montgomery out of his rhythm. It seems like Montgomery gets that feeling like, you know, I could finish this thing maybe, but Sanchez has gained a little respect. Montgomery big with the right hand. You've got to like that move from Montgomery now trying to push back. When Sanchez comes in and pushes, he's going to push back a little bit, try and maybe throw some body shots and, and get back control of this round. Big right hand coming in from Montgomery with bad intentions. Doesn't land. Again, Sanchez doing a, a pretty good job of keeping Montgomery from just popping off. Sanchez out of right here in Madera, California, not too far down the line. Big left by Montgomery. It almost looked like it stunned Cruz, but Cruz seems like he bounced right back. Well, one thing about Sanchez is he's willing to stand toe to toe. He's willing to throw the big left, the big right. And I think, you know, maybe his strategy could be to try to take Montgomery out of his rhythm. And he's doing a fairly good job of that. Big miss again, and then Montgomery sort of pushes back off the ropes. Oh. Good exchange now as Montgomery lands a couple body shots. And Cruz shakes it off, and they're back at it again. Cruz never seems to get too hurt in those exchanges where you think, you know, maybe Montgomery maybe ought to win the exchange. I like that left hand from Cruz, too. I think Montgomery is going to have to respect the fact that that he can hit. Sanchez really can, 
is capable of, of taking a big shot and then landing a big shot. And that, that, that probably is going to at least slow down Montgomery's thinking. Ten seconds left in round two. Oh, got him up against the ropes in the corner. Montgomery Cruz now is going to try and back him up. You know, that was a good body shot combination for Montgomery late. But, uh, again, I think, you know, from sitting right below Cruz here, I don't see any major issues for him. I think, I think Montgomery may have taken the round uh, iron, but I don't, think it, I don't think quite in the way he'd like to. With two rounds to go, I can't call this one quite yet. I think both, both fighters seem to be able to hit that shot that's going to yeah, take like, the other guy down. It looks like Montgomery, uh, coming from here, uh, he's got a nice swollen left cheek. They've applied some ice on that. Looks like Cruz, def I'm sorry, Cruz. Sanchez definitely uh, uh, landed a, one of those solid jabs or roundhouses that he has. Well, again, like I said at the beginning of this fight and the one before, in this division, there's just enough weight to where, you know, those, the, the knockout punches are out there. And, and I think, you know, Montgomery has, has gained a little respect for Cruz, but maybe, you know, at the same time thinking if he can come out and just do well in this round, he may have a, a serious advantage. Montgomery working the jab again. I think that's that's still got to be his fundamental thought is let's keep that Sanchez. jab, let's keep throwing those combinations. Sanchez getting on the body a little bit on Montgomery. Ooh. Couple big shots thrown from both fighters. No no real damage. Montgomery now starting oh. to throw a little more power. Big and he left. connects with a big left. I'm pretty sure that Sanchez felt that left. He, Montgomery did take a shot then after that. In fact, yeah, a little irritation on both fighters' faces now here into two minutes, round three. You can see a little mutual respect going on, but Montgomery is still continuing to, to force enough or move around just enough, I think, to win the fight. It's still probably going to come down to Sanchez. Ooh, Ooh. Montgomery coming. Big, big right hands coming up. Right does. on Sanchez. He, he throws that sort of haymaker right, but, you know, Sanchez has done a fairly good job of, of not letting it just, you know, end the fight right there. Little bit of fatigue now from both guys here into into the end of round three, and I think now is Sanchez has got to try. Coming up to one minute, you can see he kind of wants to tee off. He's trying to tee off. Another thing Montgomery does well is moves. He, his feet are pretty good. There's still he still seems to have some life in his feet. Now that little slow exchange there for for Sanchez, he, he better start to feel a sense of urgency here in the end of round three. So I definitely feel Montgomery is turning this thing around. Oh, big right hand by Montgomery. Comes to the left, big right landed on Sanchez. Yeah, maybe a little more glove than flesh at this point, but Montgomery continuing to wear down Sanchez, doing a great job of of keeping him back. Ooh, there's another big couple on the big ropes. rights from from Sanchez. I mean, I, you know, Sanchez sensing. No, so he threw his whole body into that. Sanchez trying to trying to really throw him in, and, and, and you know, Sanchez sort of shook his head like, you know, I didn't really get shaken off there, but. But again, you know, there you go. It's you know, late in the third round, he's trying to he's trying to make it happen, and and Montgomery just not giving him the window to get in there. All right. Again, fantastic bout, fantastic matchup. If if you're any kind of a boxing fan uh, from anywhere in the country, you're going to love these these L.A sort of grassroot boxing matches that are put on here by Ed Holmes and his Battle of the Rising Stars. Um, 
It doesn't come easily. A lot of matchmaking, a lot of work goes into putting these fights together. And, and here's just another couple of guys. They're hungry. Their records are similar. And, and, you know, a couple more of these type of fights could make the difference whether they continue in boxing or not. So far, we have not, we have seen nothing but action. Here we are coming up to the fourth round, final round for this bout. Let's go, Montgomery and Sanchez. Again, Sanchez quick with the right. Again, Fitzgerald, our ring announcer, makes a great point there. Both fighters undefeated, both with, with wins. The only difference is, is Montgomery won with a knockout, and Sanchez won and then tied on a decision. But no, no official losses for either fighter. Sanchez once again working the body. Well, I'm guessing Sanchez now in this fourth and final round, he's got to know that he's got to do something to, I guess, convince everybody that, oh, and there he goes, tries to really get Montgomery. You know, Sanchez has thrown four or five punches that if they would have landed, uh, you know, could have put Montgomery <laughs> over into the crowd. You know, he's trying to, he's wanting to hit that shot. Now it's Sanchez's turn up against the ropes and Montgomery tucking his head in, throwing some body shots, trying to end this thing now. And that's a good strategy, I think, for Montgomery. You know, stay in the pocket, keep pushing the action, just don't change what you're doing at this point it's probably up to Sanchez to do something different a couple of the punches from Sanchez coming they, they well, feel left. they feel a little desperate he puts his whole body and sort of commits his whole body into it because oh big right hand to Sanchez uh, yeah, that was about half glove, half chin, but again, Sanchez was not happy about that one. Well, and Sanchez knows now he's under a minute. He's got to get it done now. He's got to find the chin, find a move. You know, Montgomery has pretty nice balance as well. It's hard to really throw him and get him off balance whereas you know sort of in contrast Sanchez overthrowing his balance sometimes trying to throw that that decision making punch 30, 30 seconds now you can see a little fatigue in Sanchez's face you, you know with 10 seconds to go he's just not coming hard enough and maybe Last he just, seconds. oh, he, he, he absorbed a big right there from Montgomery. That's probably going to keep him from coming in these last few seconds, and, and that's probably going to do it. Very, very, very good fight from both fighters, though. I think um, it's a victory for both in, in some ways. Um, from here, I kind of think Montgomery, but what did you see down there at ringside there, Iron? Well, I just saw uh, just a great bout. Uh, most of the time, it was Montgomery uh, leading the way, and you know Sanchez is fending him off. But you know, uh, though Montgomery had the reach and the um, and the height, it didn't matter to Sanchez. He still was able to land punches. And uh, but I just think Montgomery came out bigger uh, this on this uh, fight. Uh, but we'll wait and see. We'll see what the judges come in. I know there's a lot of big rights that uh, Montgomery, you know through and landed so those are always a crowd pleaser so we'll see where these guys come in and well you can see here in the replay the the exchange that that right hand coming in i'm pretty sure that was the one towards the end of the fourth round and i, I think that kept sanchez from coming in and and doing what what he might have liked to try and do and you know montgomery sort of re re-establishing himself there um, as sort of the bigger guy too in a way but uh, my hats are off to to Sanchez I mean certainly uh, this guy has the ability I think to continue and, and go on uh, 
he put up a great fight tonight. So I guess uh, we'll give a minute for the judges to decide again. Well, thanks everybody for being here. There we are, right here on the on the deal, Cruise Radio, JT Media, y'all. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. If you're just tuning in, we're in our second round of the evening where we've had uh, Montgomery and Sanchez have had a, another great battle. Our first two <laughs> running in the uh, in the um, the super welterweight division, which. Uh, you know, they, they've got enough power, they've got enough ability that it can kind of go either way. So we sure we sure have enjoyed the first two fights. Uh, but the official call is going to go ringside now. Up to Jimmy Fitch. We'll see what the judges come up with. I have a feeling that it's pretty straightforward. But again, I, I really think that, that uh, Sanchez did a great job tonight of you know, holding his position. You know, he, he's not hurt. He can still make dinner later. I think it's going to be a close call. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, let's give both fighters a big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Sergio Kais scores the bout. 37 to 39 in favor of Sanchez. <laughs> Judge at ringside, Zachary Young scores the bout 39 to 37 in favor of Rowdy. And Judge at ringside, Eddie Hernandez scores the bout 38 to 38, a split draw. Wow. So we have we have a draw, two judges going either way, and the third judge, 38 to 38. Just too close to call. Two great fighters coming in and going after it, wanting the win, and what you got was just a great show, and you know what? Credit to both fighters. 